I know I'm late. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to be here 15 minutes ago, but I've been in that Zoom. Everybody's been having fun. We we wrapped up an evening, had a drink. Oh, what an enjoyable evening. The day wasn't as great as the evening. We had uh, you know a job. We had things going on, but let me tell you, everything that's happened has happened for a reason, right? Everything, whether it be the ups, the downs, the bumps, the bruises, the, the, the disappointments, the failures, the quitters, the winners, everything's happening for a reason. I'm watching people come and go into business. I'm watching people win and lose. I'm watching people make good decisions, bad decisions all around me. I'm watching this all happen. But the one thing that seems to be consistent is that it just keeps going. It just keeps going. None of it matters in the big picture. All that matters is, is that you make a decision. It just matters that you make a decision, guys. I don't care if you're, if you're happy or you're unhappy at this moment. Make a decision to get where you want to go to. You know, I was talking to a young man tonight, and I was uh, under the impression that he was all in with an idea. But when the bumps and bruises happened and the, and the, 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 the issues arose that, that he was not really aware of, that, that he wasn't here in the beginning when there was other bumps and bruises, he, he made a decision to not be part of it. And that, that made, to me, I was like, I don't get it. Like you were all in. How do you be all in and then let go of it all at the same time? Like you it's like you didn't make the decision, right? You didn't make the decision to be all in. You were you were actually half a toe in, ready to jump when the when the water got cold, right? You weren't really ready to jump in the pool. You know, every single one of us moving forward in life from this day till eternity, every one of us are in the same exact spot. Never nobody is different. No person is different. We all have the same amount of time. We have the same amount of effort. We have the same amount of energy. We just get to live. But the one thing that you get to do as a complete person with free will is make a decision. Once you decide, wholeheartedly decide, nothing will stop you. You've decided. You've cut off any other option. You decided, it's, it's, like, it's like unwrapping a Swiss cake roll from Little Debbie, right? You see the box, you go over to it, you pull it out, and you haven't decided to eat it yet, right? You haven't. You've pulled it out, you're looking at it, it looks good, you pull the wrapper off, right? You, you pull that wrapper off, you pull the one cake right off the paper. You still haven't made a decision to eat it. You've, you've made a, a conscious effort to get ready to eat it, but not until you've put it in your mouth and taken that bite and you've swallowed. You can't unswallow, okay? You can't unmake a decision. Once you decide to win, you'll win. Every time, every time. Have you ever decided to go to work in the morning? I'm sure you made it. I'm sure you made it. I bet you decided to come home after work. And here you sit in front of your computer, your phone, your something. You decided to do that. But some of you haven't decided to win at anything. You got started in a business. You got, you know, signed up and you you took a you took a little bit of risk. You spent like a hundred dollars. You spent maybe a hundred dollars. Let's say you spent $500. Let's say you spent $10,000 to start your business. The only pressure you have is the fact that you don't want it to feel as if you've wasted $10,000. But that doesn't mean you've made the decision to win because your actions dictate the decision. Your actions dictate the decision. Are you going to put forth the effort to reach the level that you've decided to reach? 
Do you want to reach the first level of, a, of your business? Have you made a decision that I am going to get to this level? I am going to get to that level. Are you making a decision or are you just playing? Is it a hobby? Are you not treating your 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 business as a as a as a like a, a, a business? Are you treating it like a hobby? I'm I'm waiting. You can answer right here. Are you treating your business as a business or are you treating it as a hobby? Hold on one second. I got to give Brad this. Brad here. That's for Brad. Nobody else has to do that. Brad said he was about to get back in, into the business because it is unbelievable what's about to happen. But we made the decision. When my friend Tina showed this idea to me, um, what, 125, 26 days ago, I got so excited about what the potential was that there was nothing else. And we got started and we did five presentations a day. And I know I've told this story, but you, you, you can't miss that nothing else mattered. Nothing. Like, I was sitting for three weeks in Miami Beach with a beachfront resort hotel and didn't go touch the water, but for about 15 minutes in three weeks. And if you understood how much I love the beach and love the ocean and being in it, and I gave up the beach to sit in my room, recruit people, talk to people, do what I had to do to help build my friends' businesses, help, help them get farther along, I made a decision to win. I made a decision to help those people, and that decision has landed us in one of the top positions of this business. This business, and every single one of you have that ability. There's always room at the top. You can blow past me and go to many, many other levels above me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm going to praise your efforts. I'm going to praise your successes. But you have to make that decision. It is so disheartening watching people who say they're going to win and then get distracted by whatever God throws at them, whatever challenge has been put in front of their face, whatever life thing that comes up, and they just don't get past it. Just because you have setbacks doesn't mean it's over. Just because you have frustrations doesn't mean it's over. Just because you're challenged a little bit more should build you into the person you need to be to get through the fire that you're going through and come out on the other side shining as a gem that's been just fired up. Guys, are you, do, you, do you see this? Do you see how important it is to make that decision and that nothing else matters? I'm going to decide to be an amazing husband for my wife. I'm going to decide to be a great father to my children. And I've still got failures in that area. I've got lots of stuff that I've got to work on because I've spent a massive amount of time trying to set myself free so I can be the father that I need to be. I need to set myself free because every week, I go out of town away from my family and my kids don't get to see me on a regular basis. I have to sacrifice my time to build something that will replace my job. But I had to make a decision to do that. Nothing else matters. Getting free is the only thing that matters. Setting myself apart from everybody else I ain't watching TV. I don't know about the latest sporting events. I have no clue who's on top. I have no clue who's on first. I have no clue. I just don't care. Like those things don't matter. I mean, I there's a lot of things that I won't even, I don't have an interest to go do because I want to win for the family. I want to have 100% of my time. I want to wake up on a Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday and no one can go, 
okay, Curry, you need to be at this place. We need you over here. Can you go over there? Hey, would you get on a plane and fly across the country and be away from your family for two, three weeks at a time? Hey, can you go over here? Nope, I don't want to do it. On Monday, some Monday, just some Monday in the near future, I'm going to wake up and have no place to be. Have no place to go unless my wife says, hey, let's go. And I go, okay, let's go. That's the life that I want. I want the life that my wife is the only person who dictates where I need to be at. That's the life I want. I don't know what you want. I have no clue. But you have to make that decision for yourself. You have to decide that you're either all in or your toe is, you know, get out. And by the way, if you're on my team and you haven't made a decision, pick one. Be all in. Jump in the pool, cold or not, hot or not. Jump in the water. Get all in. Understand what you're doing. Grow yourself. Grow your business. Grow what you're doing. Let us help you. Oh, Dale, you are... Man, you are so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin that right there. That is, that's it right there. That short period of time isn't always a week. It might be a year. It might be three years. That's a short period of time in 80 years, right? From the time you're born to the time you might die, a three-year, a five-year run of hard work is a short period of time. How long did it take you to get a degree? Did you decide to get a college degree? And you got one. You went through the classes. You put up with the crap. You went through the grades. You went through the tests. You went through the years. And now you're paying the debt off on that college degree. Congratulations. You've got a degree and you got the debt. And some of you got out with no debt. That's awesome. But you made it. You made the decision to get that degree. Some of you have been put into a business and you have a compensation plan in front of you. Unlike your job, your compensation plan tells you that you can earn up to X amount of dollars if you put forth the effort to do what's required to get that that level. Unlike your job, you can't do that there. You can do that in a business that you are part of. You just have to decide that I'm going to do it. It might take me a year. It might take me three years. It might take me 10 years to reach the top level in my business. But you know what? Even if it took you 10 years, that's better than 30. Tell me it's not. Is it not better than 30 years? Because I'm 39 years old. I almost said 37 again. I'm 39 years old right now. So that means I'm almost 40. You have to be 67 to retire now. As as an adult male, 67, 68. As an adult male, you have to be 68 years old. That means I have almost 30 years left to work. 30 years. I ain't going to do it. Mm -mm, Nope. You can't pay me. You can't pay me to go to a job for another 30 years. Not knowing what I know now. Not with the mindset that I've acquired. You can't pay me to go to a job. For another 30 years, you're out of your mind. I will, listen, I will do something crazy. I will put a billion people in a business. You will, you, oh, no. I am not going to work for somebody for 30 more years. Are you crazy? Who does that? Oh, everybody. Oh, guys. I just want people to make a decision. I want people to understand that your decision you make is not a, option when you make a decision you swallowed the 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 swiss cake roll right you put it in your mouth you tasted it but then once you swallowed you decided to eat it you've tasted it and it was good and you put it in your mouth and you swallowed you can't unswallow it do you get that the decision isn't to think about it the decision isn't the toe in the water you didn't decide to go all in, you took a chance and you sm- took a small risk. You know, I was an airborne uh, a paratrooper in the army. 
you know, I got in that plane. I had the kit on. I had the shoot on, the reserve. I had everything on. We stood up, okay? We stood up. Just because I was in the plane doesn't mean I'm jumping. Just because, and we saw this a lot. People got frightened, and they didn't jump. You hook up. You check each other's equipment. You Then you literally shuffle to the door. You wait there till, you, till it's ready to go, and that green light comes on, and you shuffle to that door and you jump out but you haven't decided until you've left the plane you could have backed out at any second you could have set back down you could have been called names and been busted on for forever for giving up but people did it people gave up all the time but as a soldier as a paratrooper as a person of my mindset i was jumping out of that plane every time I didn't care what was on the ground. I didn't care about the tree I landed in. I didn't care about the water landings. I didn't care about the ground that I hit. I don't care about the dirt road or the concrete or anything else that happened. And all of those things happened to me. But guess what? Those are good stories. Those are really good stories. I made a decision and jumped out of that plane. Are you making a decision or are you just playing with it? Are you? make a decision to win all right listen with the stuff that's came out tonight with the growth of our business the new tools coming the conference that's coming up the cruise that we are about to go on dale calvert my wife diana anderson uh vincent johnson the third scott devore deanne devore tina kelly uh kevin um gina everybody is about to we're about to go have more fun carmen carmen's gonna be there who else uh we're gonna have so much fun on this cruise and we just made a decision to win nothing else mattered so listen I, i'm not trying I, and jason said i feel like i'm watching the gospel of curry i'm not trying to preach I'm trying to literally give you the, the win. Like you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be. Once you've decided, it just is. There is no struggle. There's no win. It just is. You've decided. You eat, What happens is what's supposed to happen. You just go through the motions, the ups, the downs, the bruises, the wins, the, 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 the trophies, the, the surprises. It just is. You decided, and it's just going to happen. I'm going to be a millionaire. I already decided. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to boast. I'm saying I've decided that no matter what, my family, we are going to leave a legacy of millionaires. I don't know what your plan is. I have no clue, and it doesn't make a difference to me or to you, you just have to decide. And then do put forth the effort that dictates the necessary actions for the results, right? Guys, I am very, very excited that you followed along. If this helped you in any way, please share this. Click the share button. Help people understand that making a decision today can impact their entire life. Making a decision today can impact your entire life. Guys, I am blessed. I'm blessed with the people who have come into our life. I'm blessed with the people who are surrounding ourselves, people like Dale Calvert, uh, people like Kevin Moreno, uh, Gina, um, most of all, my beautiful wife. My beautiful wife has changed my entire life. Um, I'm, I'm not even the same human being I was. 15 years ago and this is just keeps getting better and better and better and better so guys make a decision come run with me come run with my friends come run with all of this you, you listen we are making a decision to win so guys i appreciate you thanks for being on here and i'll talk to you tomorrow